I'm Jay Horton. I make movies that make money. This is how. Well, if there was any doubt that Amazon had turned its back on independent filmmakers, the little message that they slipped onto their main support page a few weeks back makes their position clear. Prime Video is a curated service, and we're constantly refreshing our content offering and selection for customers. Content licensed with a free with Prime offer type isn't licensed indefinitely and may be removed at any time at the sole discretion of Prime Video. Meaning they can remove your shit whenever the f they feel like it. We generally license professionally produced feature length movies and TV shows that have been theatrically released, broadcast on a major TV network, or selected by a major film festival. Even if a title has one or more of those attributes, Prime Video may still choose not to license it. Conversely, Prime Video may choose to license a limited number of titles that haven't been in theaters, broadcast, or selected by a major festival. Meaning, by and large, if you're not studio level slick, don't bother playing. Please note, submission of your content does not guarantee that your title will be selected for licensing or published by any given date. All titles undergo manual and automated reviews before a licensing decision is made. This review can take up to three weeks. If you're targeting a particular release date for your title or a particular date to know whether your title will be licensed, we recommend submitting at least 30 days in advance. Meaning there's no way in hell you're gonna get a specific release date. After a title is selected for licensing, we continuously review performance metrics and viewing behavior like completion rate, unique customer streams, and total hours to determine which content is resonating with our customers. Content that fails to meet our engagement standards may be subject to removal or other restrictions based on territory and offer type. Meaning, even if you manage to slip your movie through, they can still boot you later on, and probably will. Note, you aren't authorized to market availability of your title on Prime Video until your content has been selected for publication. Violation of this policy may result in ineligibility for licensing. All licensing decisions are final. Huh, this one's new to me. Basically saying that you can't do any marketing on your movie until it's selected for their publication. At this time, we are no longer accepting unsolicited licensing submissions via Prime Video Direct for nonfiction and short form content. Well, there you have it. No big surprise. But look, I've done videos before pontificating on why Amazon might be doing this, and I'm not gonna waste time going back down that road, and honestly, neither should you. This is what's happening. Amazon doesn't want our independent films anymore, and there's no purpose in dwelling and lamenting on it. As I've said in the past, Amazon is no longer a choice destination for independent films anyway. Now, does this mean that you shouldn't try to get your movies on there? No. By all means, continue to submit. I mean, I have a feeling that this heavier curation might lead to better rates and placement for those that do get through. And not to mention the possibility of getting picked up by IMDb TV, which I've heard tell is paying out up to 10 times more than Prime Video Direct, both owned by Amazon. All that said, just don't count on Amazon. It's only going to get tougher to get selected there as time goes on. And don't get me wrong, I am bummed. Amazon was the only major streaming platform to allow uncurated uploads. And now that's done. Gatekeeping is back. And maybe it's not the worst thing in the world. But let's see what some other filmmakers have to say. Filmmaker tips for filmmakers. Not surprising, really. But their decision is idiotic, greedy, and hopefully will bite them in the butt at some point. It's just the same bullcrap gatekeeping that's been going on for ages. Yeah, man. Amazon giveth, Amazon taketh away. This will drive content away from Amazon, which, in my opinion, is a good thing. They are bloodthirsty over there. Driving filmmakers away? 
I think that's the point. They're looking to be a more prestige destination for movies. Amazon should be boycotted by the independent market. Even their past deals and development for indie content, writers and filmmakers, was extremely shady. I respect that sentiment, but I do think you're overvaluing their consideration for indie film. Amazon is a billion dollar empire, and Amazon Prime is just one very small component of that. I may not agree with how Prime is conducting their business, but at the end of the day, it is just business. I was smart enough to get off of Amazon years ago. Yeah, super smart of you to turn your back on revenue. Even if it's shrinking, I continue to see sizable returns from Amazon. One of the things I really enjoyed about Amazon Prime, I got the opportunity to find new and unusual films. Films that didn't get major distribution deals. Films made by filmmakers with a passion as opposed to money. I think we need to see films like that. Films that remind us of why we make movies. I realize Hollywood is a business and it's about the deal the star attached, a four quadrant opening, and how well the film will do in China. However, sometimes we just need movies because we want to see something neat, fun, and dare I say it, some good old fashioned escapism. Nice. You know, I like this take a lot. You know, Amazon Prime was a pretty cool alternative to Netflix and Hulu in regards to independent content, you know, as a viewer. Well, I mean, at least we still have Tubi. For now, anyways. Honestly, we can't really blame them. A lot of crappy and horrible productions have been put on Prime, and it kind of messed things up for everyone. There's nothing inherently wrong with content curation. It's just when they literally have zero room for the little guy, or for no budget features, that's when it becomes a bit soul crushing for a smaller fish. At the current moment, at least. I don't see why they couldn't or shouldn't just have a platform where literally anyone can upload their indie film. Like, just a step above YouTube. They let the users create what they want, for the most part, as long as it fits their guidelines. But that's another story. Haha. <laughs> you know, I totally agree with you about the, you know, Prime Video being a, you know, possible step above YouTube thing, but... Honestly, that's what Prime Video Direct was originally intended to be. They just decided to change direction midstream. If you're enjoying my stuff, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share it. But whatever you do, keep making movies.